I was to say what internet freedom is, I'd say we don't have it now, and that we would need to protect an entirely public space which is free of any corporate interest guiding it. So a non-Google space, a non-AOL space, so, you know, something which was entirely a bit like public service broadcasting in its best form, which was owned by the public for the public. So we're not tied into the algorithmic structures of the big corporate organisations which have basically taken over that space. So in the book that we wrote, Misunderstanding the Internet, at the end of that we have a kind of little manifesto for how the internet could become public and that would give freedom to the individuals who are using it for all those kind of pluralistic purposes to actually take hold of and run with. But at the moment that's virtually impossible. It began with that intention. I do believe that. It had that kind of radical pluralistic intention, but that was very quickly overtaken when it was, you know, realised how powerful it was. As a means of gathering data on people that can be sold on, then you immediately lost any freedom that may go with that. What would you say is the biggest threat to internet freedom in its idealised normative form? Um, corporate control of big data. Could you rephrase that as... Yeah, <laughs> in like, normal like, speak. Yeah. Um, and it's, it, it is most definitely the way that big corporations have taken over the online space, used it simply to collect data on the individuals and follow and track whatever they're doing in order to sell that on to other people, but also to organise the information that is online itself. So we think when we do a Google search, or many people think, that what they get fed back is what everybody else would get fed back if they were doing it. It's not. Actually, you put in, it, tra it, it looks very carefully at what you've tracked in previously, and it gives you back stuff you think you'll, they think you'll find interesting. So it's a very um, highly personalised search engine that closes down our world rather than opening it up.